look, it's their goals. Yeah. It's exactly how they want to build it. Yeah. And it's okay. That's, that's wisdom. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, you, you checked yourself. Yeah. Right, you yeah. you got to the stage where you realize that you have to step out of yourself yeah. in order not to influence mm. or, or or get the outcome that you want. Yeah, but it's their outcome, right? It's not your outcome. It's their business, their outcome, their yeah. life, and it's not it's not important what I want for them. It's more important what they want for themselves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come back to the book. I oh, want yeah. to ask you a, a question. Yeah. Shoot. Um. We, we look at the book and we see this as the end result. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we want to know what was the process like of writing this book? <laughs> okay. How, how did, <laughs> uh, of course, you had your inspiration to write the book, yeah. right? Based on what you saw of yourself and mm. how you've been growing your own business mm -hmm. and what other people needed. Uh -huh. But mm. what was the process like? Were there challenging parts, difficult parts, fun parts? Annoying parts, <laughs> and, <laughs> annoying and and you parts. said nine months. It took you nine months to nine months. to pen this book, right? Yeah. But yeah. what was the process like? Tell, get us into Marissa's work habit, ethic, routine of writing this book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I think that's that's really uh, that's really interesting. Um, I think one of the most difficult parts that we start with the. The, the, the good, bad and the ugly, let me talk about the difficult parts of writing this book. Yeah. I think the toughest part of writing this book is that I, 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 had to, um, I had to ensure that to a certain extent, hmm. I was living the photo at the bottom. Okay. I, I needed to I I'm needed I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna show this to the camera so they yeah. can see they can see what the photo at the bottom was. I I you know, a lot okay. of people and some of you may may know me, I'm the photo at the top, you know, oh, she's yes. this business woman, she's out there and she's conquering <laughs> and she's ambitious and she's wow wow wow. But then I I, I wanted to make sure that I I live that first. Mm. I mean, my own version of great life. I mean, yeah. not not anybody else's version, but my own version. Mm. And I needed to make sure that to a certain extent I was doing that before I could write this book. Mm. Uh, for me, I as an author, I feel that um, when I write, I, I I I have to write with congruency, you know. Mm. And I don't just want it to be points where. I could just regurgitate it, and it could really come off any website. Mm. But I, I, I don't, I don't want to just regurgitate points that mm. could sound academic. Mm. It's a lot of practical experience. So, mm. so the toughest part about writing this book was was that I needed to ensure the great life part, mm. um, and that I was reliving a lot of my personal goals, my cycling goals, um, my my weight goals. You know, I mean, some of you are watching this video. I've come down by, by, by nine kilograms in wow. the last three months. I'm on a As a result of writing the book? <laughs> no, 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 writing the book. This is not a diet book. Qualify. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a diet book. <laughs> this is a because because, book, because you, you didn't eat it, therefore you... <laughs> yeah, because it. I was working so hard. <laughs> oh, okay, but congratulations on losing the weight. Thank you, thank you. And it, it was because I, I took some uh, level of importance into, you know, uh, uh, living well. I cut, I cut sugar from mm. my diet. Um, I cut carbs. Okay. I'm on intermittent fasting, and okay. I feel great. I've got this amount of energy that I could go on for days, and I only eat within a certain band of time. Okay. And I could only explore and do all this because I had a certain amount of focus on who I wanted to be in my life, not just business, 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 and work myself into. And then I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I need a holiday, and then I, I eventually have to force myself for a break. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want that. Because business is for life. Great yeah. business, great life. Business is for life. And so the hardest part was living and breathing the things that I would write in this book. So that for me is one of the toughest part. I couldn't I couldn't act it out so much. Okay. And and You had to walk your talk. I had to walk yeah, I had to walk my talk. Yeah. Thank you. I had yeah. to I had to do that and that was the hardest before I realized <laughs> and that's probably why it took nine months. <laughs> lose some kilos, <laughs> nine months. You know, and then I could come up with a book like this. Um do you, okay, let's talk about the technical aspects of it. Oh, do you write late in the night? Do you write early in the morning? Do you write with music, without music? 
Um, without music. Okay. The music, the uh, music with words, without words. Apparently, um, music with words. Uh, any music distracts me. Okay. So it's crystal clear silence. Okay. Like I have nothing on. Yes. Uh, if at all, I have music with no words. Mm. Um, I am an early riser, okay. so I would write at about in the AMs. Uh, of course, maybe I, I, I usually get up about 5.30, 6. Mm. That's my usual time. Uh, and then I write in the morning when it's really quiet and it's still dark. Oh, okay. So when the phone starts going off and the messages start coming in and the emails start coming in, uh, by then it's work time and I stay clear of, 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 of writing. Okay. Um, one of the things that I had to do mm. in formulating the book, the mm. hardest part is always the table of content, the TOC, yeah. right? Yeah. And so just getting the rough frame, like the next, the 300 words, mm. and then you start meeting it up. Mm. I literally had to uh, check in to uh, Airbnb, I just check in. Really? And, yeah, for wow. like, uh, I remember I checked in on a Friday night and I came out on a Sunday afternoon and I had a I had like maybe 40-30% of the manuscript Wow And I meted it up Put it all together So I had to really put all that in But I knew that I could not get a, a book together If I didn't commit to it mm -hmm. And then I'd be very busy with my everyday life I'd be busy yeah. with, you know uh, The cycling, the climbing the, the family, Living the great life folk. <laughs> Living <laughs> the great, great life yes. And so I had to Oh, oh, oh Stop the great life for a bit and Yeah then, uh, Literally check in Okay had enough um, commitment and discipline yeah. to just turn off the machine, the yeah. open up my computer, and I have this one, this 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 something that I used to, I, I, I stopped doing. Hmm. I used to open up multiple windows okay. when I work, hmm. and one of, the, one of the things that I committed to doing when I wrote this is hmm. only the Word document that I am typing at that, that time. So I only had one application open, I was just typing. Was there Wi Fi on? Uh, no, okay, no Wi Fi. Oh, okay. No Wi Fi, no okay. email, no WhatsApp, web. No, all, no the, all the beeps and, bl and, and sounds coming out from the computer, no. Oh, and I, I was on a balcony that overlooked beautiful forest. It was just fresh air. Okay. So that's your computer. secret writing place? Yes. Okay. Yeah, for, for me, I love uh, Mother Nature. I, yeah. I get inspired by Mother Nature. So, of course, it wasn't a. For some of you, you're wondering, it's not camping, like, mm -hmm. not, not, not tent and all yeah. that. I might get yeah. my computer wet. So it was a really, really beautiful place. Mm. I had to do it a few times. Sometimes it was in uh, Gunting Highlands. Mm. I went to this new hotel uh, and I booked a really nice high up place. Mm. And all I could overlook were fog and beautiful forest okay. and balcony. No air, con no air conditioning. So that was your inspiration? That was my inspiration. That's when I came up with the bulk of first the TOCs and then after, after a while I still had to do a few more trips. Otherwise, I couldn't discipline myself. So it's not um, a regular habit like, okay, you know, I fix Fridays mm. or I fix Thursdays or Mondays mm -hmm. or Saturdays. It yeah. wasn't that. But I found that I put it, put it all into like two or three days. I found that I could, I could get into the zone, mm -hmm. you know, the writing zone. Yeah. I, I don't know about, about you, but yeah. I, I can't seem to get into the zone easy enough because of just the busyness. Yeah. So when I get into the zone is when I commit, hmm. check in, and I'm in the zone. Yeah. Boom. Everything all comes out. So then oh. I've got that. The so now we know your secret. <laughs> <laughs> it can be yours. Can be your secret too. <laughs> so now, now lots of people who are dying to have a book, yeah. right? They can actually say, okay, I'm going to check myself into this hotel room in. next three days, and I'm going to sit down and get that at least yes. fifty percent of the manuscript yeah. done, yeah. right? Yes. And then it takes two or three trips. Three, trips you know coming in and out and that's it and you get it done you get yeah. yourself a nice awesome book and you see the thing is when we check in at such an awesome hotel you know mm. what's gonna happen is mm. that we want to sleep in until about 11 yeah we sleep in until <laughs> 9. Oh, i'm gonna go for breakfast and it's gonna be a three hour breakfast you know okay. the discipline is important as well mm. so that we we don't we, we we have a clear mission right yeah so Oh, wow, that that is fun. <laughs> you see, that that is the thing that we really want from this conversation is to dig all those secrets. The secrets. The secrets of writing it's that bestseller, right? It's out. <laughs> out. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's a bestseller. Of course, yeah. you know. Please, guys, please help make this a bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> and we we'll, and we would definitely want to know what's in this book, right? Of yeah. course, besides the points that you told us about, yeah. you know, we we really want to read this book and get to know the 
parts, the difficult parts, right? Mm. Um, and how to reclaim our lives how to reclaim and our get lives. back it. into this cycle of being happy yeah. while running a business, right? Yes. Not stressed out and, yeah. you know, all this other tough stuff. And definitely not, I will go and be happy when the business is done. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I've heard that a million times. Yeah. Like, I will go and do that for myself when I'm done making my money. I'm like, when? Yeah. Like, dude, when? Yeah. Because the, the goal keeps changing, right? I mean, you, you hit yeah. a certain milestone, yeah. you want more. We keep going more, yeah. we keep striving yeah. for more. You know, it's like, I will go and play badminton with my friends once I finish this proposal. Hmm. It's like, well, when, when does that finish? Yeah. Work never finishes, and it's, and it's sometimes the case where we just have to, okay, that's it. Yeah. And then go and do that for yourself. Yeah. Th- just go and do that. Yeah. Well, that, that is very interesting indeed. <laughs> so we've dug out some of your secrets. We've dug out parts about the book. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about business. Um, I want to ask a question to Marissa. And I ask her, it's, I wouldn't call it a million dollar question, but I would say that if you had a chance to meet any entrepreneur you like, but okay, mm. dead or alive, <laughs> who would you like to meet and why? Who would I like to meet and why? Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, I've got a few people. Okay, you can say oh. a few people. Okay, okay. It's so not limited to one. I, I would love to meet Oprah, Oprah oh, Winfrey, wow. she's amazing. She's such an inspiration. Um, uh, uh, o- Oprah is, um, you know, somebody that uh, started from a, a very uh, difficult place. Her yeah. family, her background, and uh, her and life, she, right? Her life, life. her life is just full of, and for her to share some of her very uh, difficult part parts of her life yeah in order to inspire people and then so many people came out yeah so many so many people yeah I've been abused too I've been you know and, and for her it but it took a lot of courage to share her story mm. so that people would feel comfortable yeah with com- coming and speaking to her and and she grew such a fantastic business Harpo Har- Harpo um uh, ink. Studio? is it a studio? ink or studio or something yeah. yeah and then she created so many other Fantastic people is not yeah. just her, but she created Dr. Phil. She yeah. created, and among so many people, Dr. Phil is also amazing. I love his sense of humor. Love his he's so direct and blunt. Yeah. But, but it's so powerful because Oprah, Oprah, brought so many peop, uh, very amazing people and profiles onto her show, hmm. to to be able to share their story as well. Yeah. And on top of just not just sharing her own story, but so many other people. And it inspired millions of people everywhere. So if I could, as part of my bucket list, <laughs> is to be able to meet Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, okay. yeah, and her her her, her ability to serve. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be a. That would be. I, a is there a number two on your list? If there's a number one, is there uh, number two on your list? Is there a number two? Um, not not so much. Um. A number two, but maybe just someone else in a different, like yeah. Um, for for like now, mm. I really love to shake the hands of Tun Mahathir. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, if if if, if, if Oprah inspired the daylights out of me, mm. um, I think for me, uh, Tun Tun M has been a real inspiration. I I've never been able to. Uh, meet him in person you know mm. when he became the prime minister everybody put photos of themselves him. with him, <laughs> yeah, him and, you know yeah. he's definitely a people's person the, the the people chose him and and then when all those photos came up i i was so blown away um and, and for me what he's what he's done for our country with the choices and the decisions he mm. had to make and his family as well i think it's not easy for his wife yeah, with him making this decision, he's a retired man. He's more than retired. I mean, some of us. He's ninety three, ninety two, <laughs> ninety three. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I, and some of us are like not not even half of that. Yeah. And we're saying we're tired. Yeah. We're oh, so tough. We're oh, we can't do this anymore. We can't do this anymore. And this guy is going at it. Yeah, yeah. 
I think that's that's really really incredible, right? He he's uh, he's he, he's, 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 he's made nineties the new. 40s or 40s, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever he, it is. He's not an entrepreneur, he's but he is someone who yeah. is 